Hi there, it's Rebecca here. I am a design team member at Crafters Companion and today I'm going to show you how I made this cute little card with the bunny and the background scene using a stamp set called Be Bunny Birthday Blossoms by Crafters Companion. Now this set is no longer available at Crafters Companion, but if you do a Google search for the name of the stamp set, you will find lots of places that you can buy it if it's something that you'd like to purchase. And I just think she is so cute holding her little bundle of flowers and in fact I gravitated towards this because it reminded me so much of the cherry blossoms and the cherry blossom festival that we have back where I grew up, which is in D.C. It's huge down there. The cherry blossoms all along the Tidal Basin and all along by the Jefferson Memorial. It's just a big thing every year. So I just had to color this little little bunny. I thought she was so cute. I started off by using my BG markers by Spectrum Noir. Now BG is brown gray, so it's a warm gray. I used BG1, BG2, and BG6. And I started off using my BG6 and I colored in anywhere where there would be any little shadows on this bunny. Along the bottom of her ears, around her bow, around where her arms are and she's holding the stems of the flowers. And I blended that out with the BG2. Now that's a big jump between the big BG6 and the BG2. But I really like the contrast that it gave. It really added a lot of definition to this little, little bunny here. And I blended the BG2 out with the BG1. Now that's a light, light color. So I save that for anywhere where the sunshine would be hitting this little bunny like on the top of her ears and her feet and around to the top of her arms. Now with her face I like to keep my critter's faces very light so I only went about two-thirds of the way in with the BG1 and then I blended that out with the colorless blender pen and it gave it a real soft transition. Now my secret for uh, for any little critter I, I like to add the an extra little swipe of my darker marker so I went in with the BG6 and again and just darkened up those shadow areas and I think it adds a lot of pop. Now for the ears I use PP1, FS2, and PV3. Now the two mar first two markers, the PP1 and the FS2, are very very light pink so I concentrated them towards the center and used the PV3 as my shadow color anywhere where like the ears pinch in and then around her belly too towards the bottom where there would be a little curve and like underneath their arms and around by the stems. And those, it took a little bit to blend, but they actually turned out really well and I love the way it turned out. I love any sort of contrast. I'm big into contrast with all my coloring. And these really colors worked very, very well together. Now I used the same uh, PV3 and PP1 for the flowers. I just gave around the center of each of the flowers, I just gave each little petal a dot of the PV3 and then just slightly blended that in with the PP1. And there's such small areas, I wasn't too, too concerned about blending them perfectly. But I think they turned out really, really cute. Now, for the uh, centers of the flowers, I used just a dot. I mean, literally, I just dotted the marker into the center. And I used the CT4. And then I used the OR1, which, again, just gave a little bit of a de definition to the center of those flowers. Now the stems are very thin, but I still wanted to add some color to them, so I just used the DG1 and the DG2 and added some coloring to the stems, and they, uh, even though you're really drawing over top of the line, it just gives a hint of a color to those stems and it looked really nice. Now, we're going to be creating a little scene here. So for my scene, I started with my lightest marker, uh, lightest green marker, which was the DG1. And I colored underneath my bunny and drew in a little ground, like a flat, what's going to, I guess, essentially be a grassy field, underneath her, her feet and all around. I just drew a straight line with the DG1. And then I started using a flicking motion to create grass, to create real tall grass. And again, I start with my lightest color for ground, for any sort of groundwork I'm going to be doing, because that adds just a nice, helps with the blending. So I went in after the DG1 with the DG2 around her feet, creating somewhat of a shadow, and I blended that in and again added some more flicks of the pen for the blades of grass, and then right under her feet and just very sparingly in the grass, I used the DG3, and it created a nice little grassy field for our rabbit to be standing in. And then I blended everything out again. I went back with the DG1 and colored right over top of everything, which gave it a very nice blend and colored all the way to the bottom of the card. Now, for the sky, for the background, I went ahead and just traced and cut out a uh, from a sheet of masking paper and just inked on some tumbled glass distress ink 
to create some clouds in the sky. And there we go. And that pretty much is our entire scene. And I just think it turned out very nice. Now I mounted this on a piece of 